Setting up downforce with TrueSet for the 1895 is easy and user friendly, getting you up and running, whether maintaining or adjusting downforce pressure. In this video, we will show the calibration process, show the process of locking ranks and disabling downforce, and show how to set the alarm ranges. As we discussed in the previous videos, downforce pressure is the only adjustment on the 1895 air drill that uses TrueSet. It does not control the depth setting. Operators can run a sensor calibration at any time, before, during, or after the season. But a calibration of the unit should be done at the start of every season and when the depth setting has been changed. Touch the up arrow icon on the right side of the page to go to the setup page. On the setup page, we have three tabs across the top. To run the calibration, simply navigate to the Cal tab and follow the on-screen prompts. Our last confirmation is that the depth setting on the implement matches the depth setting we have selected in the system. If the lock position of the gauge wheel does not match the system input, we need to adjust the system input before calibrating. To set the correct depth for both fertilizer and seed, go to the Tools tab, select Opener Configuration from the drop-down tab, and select the matching depth. Once all confirmations are complete, begin the calibration. Follow the on-screen prompts to complete. The system will update and display when the calibration is done. To disable either the fertilizer or the seed openers, first close the valve on the tool while in the raised position. There is a decal clearly stating what each valve controls. Now from the cab, select the Disable icon from the Run page, or go to the Tools page and select the Opener Configuration from the drop-down box. From here you can select the Enable box to uncheck the opener to disable. To set the alarm limits, touch the bell icon on the side of the main page. Here we can set two alarms. First, we can set a timed warning for when the downforce is disabled. This warning informs the operator that downforce has not been enabled, but the tractor is moving and the openers are down. The second timed warning is failure to reach set point. This informs the operator the regulated downforce is not within the green warning dead band shown on the run screen gauges. Either adjustment can be made by touching the box and adjusting to the preferred time. Setting up and navigating the display for all these features, as you can see, is quick and easy, allowing you to spend more time getting the job done. So, to review, we showed you how to run a calibration, showed the process of locking ranks and disabling downforce, and showed how to set the alarm ranges. In the 60 foot 1895 adjust downforce settings using TrueSet video, we will look at and discuss the adjustments to downforce using TrueSet. 